always changes. There's never two days the same. Every day you get new challenges and yeah, it makes it worthwhile. One minute you could be in triage, you could be the eyes of the department, next minute you're in resource, saving somebody's life and that's the variety of the work. I need pain relief if I had morphine, but I was pretty bad yeah, when I got in. I think I've got a kidney stone, so I'm waiting to go and get a CT scan. The amount of patients we have now, it's, it's so much busier. He's still, he's still not got a block in yet. It's pressure that we all feel. We're here to do our best every day and it's constant. When I was a young trainee doctor, most nights were spent dealing with violence and stitching up people. Our work now reflects the change in demographics, so we're having to deal with a lot more complex problems in the elderly. Hello. He looks much better than he did when I saw him in yeah, on Monday. Much better today. Probably could accommodate him back at Erskine with the steady. OK, I think home today then. The normal process for older people when they come into hospital which is they get moved from ward to ward. They then often stay in for a long time. Patients get admitted directly here. We do a very quick assessment with physios, OTs, specialist nurses and medical staff with an aim to try and get people home as quickly as possible. Cecilia, I think the more we do, the better you're getting actually when you're walking. Yes. Yeah, practice makes perfect, as they say. Our average length of stay for this ward is three days. About 10% actually go home the same day as they come in. She's possibly meningitis. She came in yesterday. So I really need to transfer her. We open at 8 o'clock in the morning, start taking GP referral patients. You do get a lot of satisfaction if you've got quick turnaround patients. We get somebody assessed quickly, get a diagnosis quickly and get them treated right away. And she's had her x-ray so she can go white. Grand, thank you. I'm just got to take you through and do your height and weight. I enjoy working with people. I enjoy patient interaction, talking to patients. Right, I just need to do a wee blood pressure on you as well. It's really rewarding, you know, it's to watch them and you see them growing as well, you know, like they've not been able to do their own injections, to be able to do their injections, no worries at all. CIU Infusion Bay First is eight soup and sandwich, four fruit and four yogurt. This is just for your like diet patients with your special allergens, textured meals, like people's throat operations. I feel like a little cog in the machine. Mm -hmm. Just one part of it, you know. At the end of the day, you all do your part. There we go. Oh, right, so it's that's a good end, and that's a good Yep. Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It is absolutely lovely. And if my husband see this, he'll be saying, she just eat super team. <laughs> Good fly. Thank you. So we're going to have a quick look around the abdomen. The tumour, I suspect, is probably going to be under the mentum there. It helps to be ambidextrous, so that you can use instruments in both hands. You can tie knots in both hands. While you're on the phone, I'm going to be taking a male CCU bed for a Mr Nisbet, if that's all I'm going right. to the coronary care unit later on, so I came in thinking I'll be back out in ten minutes. I've had two hips replaced, I've had two operations on my back. I'm kind of quite used to hospitals, but now I've got a season ticket for it. It's Rapid Access Clinic today for skin lesions. Normally we can have 7 to 80 patients, non-stop from yes. half 7 in the morning to 8 o'clock at, at night, night some nights. It all looks very, very benign indeed. Mm. There's certainly nothing there that you look at and you... Did you do urgently? Yeah. Before we had this, we had a huge waiting list, as did plastic surgeons. And that's one reason why we developed this clinic, because we thought we could work together. Sometimes I don't think people see the amount of work that nurses mm -hmm. and doctors put in Behind to get scenes. patients this mm -hmm. treatment that they need. You're not going to please everybody all of the time, but we try. It can be quite difficult, but that's the job we've kind of chosen, so we take the good days with the notes of good days. There's always improvements to be made, but the NHS is a bottomless pit really, isn't it? You'll never have enough money to be able to do all the things that you want to do. You're a what? <laughs> Fallen woman. Fallen woman. <laughs> What's really nice about it is you don't just deal with their medical problems, you look at their social issues, and you really get to know the patient very well and understand exactly what they want and what matters to them. Most people appreciate it and certainly I think it's the best NHS in the United Kingdom.